And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poros of the North, our next uh, donation deck here on Meme Tier Monday. We're going to be trying some Poros. Um, it's always always good to try some Poros. Last week we tried some Ash Poros. This time we, we're going to have Vi and Sejuani in our Poro deck, a couple of really powerful champions. Uh, and then we got, you know, just a lot of good Poro stuff. You know, we got our Poro snacks in here, Poro Herder, could draw some more. Avros and Hearthguard help pumping up all the Poros in our deck. Professor Vaughn, yep. So whenever we have our one cost Poros, give them plus two, plus two. Um, and then, of course, our Aurora Porealis, creating some more Poro snacks for us and more random Poros. Um, plus some Heart of the Fluffs. So we can combine all of them and make a big. Uh, Fluffed of the Poros. <laughs> so yeah, we got all that kind of stuff together. Um, and uh, we're going to be trying out some more Poros. Shared Spoil is drawing some for us. So yeah, it looks like a bunch of cool stuff. Here we go. Here's Poros of the North. Call them, that's what we're calling this. Kind of using the Fury of the North with the Poros for the name. Putting those together. Yeah, I said last week we did Ash with Poros. Um, this this week, yeah, we have Vi and Sejuani. See, we were looking like a normal deck. Vi, Sejuani. You know, we're not really giving away what we're doing too much. We're going to mulligan Von Yip and Shared Spoils to start with. The shared spoils could be really good, okay, but it also could, you know, we may not be able to cast it. You know, it's a it's a high variance card. We see through all. Ooh, Poro snacks. Alright, gonna see if we get the thunder damage in. Yes, we do. Perfect. Alright, so yeah, those will pump up afterwards. Unfortunately, you don't just get the plus three, plus three immediately. That'd be nice. But the next thing is gonna be plus three, plus three, whatever it is. Which I wouldn't mind being like a. A one mana Poro. A daring Poro. Are they attacking for six? Attacking for six is a lot of damage. I'm going to just play this Mystic Shot here instead of Professor Vanya. Cut that back a little bit. Now the next thing has plus five, plus five. <laughs> five health Vi. Or back in the day when we had five health, Vi. Hmm. I'm doing this my way. Yeah, our next unit gonna be big. So what if I, like, are they going to be trying to play Heimer? Okay, no. I was going to kind of say, like, what if I just pass? Hmm. It's a pretty risky line of attack plus Mystic, and try to have Mystic Shot and attack kill the Solitary Monk. Because of basically any you know protection spell keeps it alive still. Oh dang! That's not cool, Mister Gonzik. Says love your tie. Thank you, Mister G. I appreciate that. I 
That's our fourth sub of the day. Looks like we may have some bonus stream today. All right, if we hit our sub goal, we'll be playing some extra games after our normal four decks of the day, just for y'all here on Twitch. No, not a big Poro herder. I don't have any Poros to go herd. The War Mother will unite us all. Fast as wind, light as air. We need a one cost Poro. Okay, okay. Well, that's our one cost Poro. Uh, hmm. Quick attack. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Yeah, so that's, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of too, too old. The, the 12-hour streams are too tough, so basically what I do, if we hit a sub goal each day, then I just play, play some extra games that day, and so, you know, we could have extra games every day if we hit sub goals every day. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing instead. Well, our hand's not bad. We got a lot of power. Let's try to trade with this Vi. So my opponent's like, oh no, why did I mess with these Poros? Like, this is what you get from messing with Poros. Alright, Vi levels up. But we still have a 4 2 elusive Poro. That's chilling. Um, so they've used two Will of Ionias already, also, by the way. The heart of the fluff is lethal. They've used two Will of Ionia, so they could just have an elusive blocker. I wish I could play Heart of the Fluff and more other things, but I just can't. Follow along, little ones. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle.
Today we fight as one. Mm. Are they gonna go barrier lifesteal with the Vi? Oh, maybe that's their plan is barrier lifesteal with the Vi. Yeah, that was my plan was just go wide, but now I realize that that could be a problem. Like, that would be a huge problem, but I don't... Uh. Yeah, that's going to be just a huge problem if they have barrier lifesteal with the Vi. Yeah, I can't stop it anyway. Our banner will lead the way. <laughs> Trust me, they had them. And so I want to attack with the best thing to barrier lifesteal kill is the Avros and Hearthguard. So I want to attack with that first, so because then they gain nine life, not ten. It's not I mean it's not much difference, it's just one life. Oh dear. I mean, maybe they don't have that card. That'd be great if they don't. Anticipated outcome. Well, this is a poor block by them. They should just trade. Like these two should just be blocking the other things, right? Like they could keep their buy alive if they just block the four four and have the one three block the five five. get my Vi to level up. Vi stands for vicious. What seems to be the problem? Nothing. I don't need a plan. Eat this. Oh, Greg. Hey, thanks for gifting the sub. Like this? Oh, I see. And Illuminasi getting that sub. There we go. Alright, we're gonna be we're just gonna go straight to attacks again. With everything. Let's see, let's attack with the weakest things first. That's you, and then you, then you, then you, then you, then you. Challenge you there. So no lifesteal barrier. All this will do damage first. We're gonna beat one of the very best decks in the format. No, I guess not. <laughs> Thought we were. What? So that's how that card works? They just don't even have to block this thing? Anticipated outcome. That's how that card works? Like I just don't even have to challenge anything now? Wait, that seems weird. That doesn't seem like the right play. I think they ran out of time. Yeah, they, they definitely needed barrier. They need the lifesteal card. Right, they need Spirit's Refuge. That was like their only hope.
Huh, yeah, I guess it works that way. It's weird. But yeah, I guess guess it works that way. Oh no, Noxus elusives? No, that deck's super fast and aggressive. I don't like that. That's not good for our little Poros. <laughs> Alright, Daring Poro is not bad. Uh, you know, Elusive can block Green Glade Duo. That's the good thing that it can do. So. Sweet. I'll take that. That's a good trade. I walk my path alone. Mm. So I try to have like, gosh, I can't play Daring Poro and Fury of the North, unfortunately. Can't do both of those. Starlet's here. Um, of course, I'm planning on Vi into Sejuani, so I'm not really planning on playing spells, so I could play this Daring Poro just as a blocker. I mean, I could play both Daring Poro and Starlet Seer, but then I have less mana for Fury of the North. If I do need to transition into Fury of the North. I guess it's probably just better. I mean, Fury of the North is going to take up my turn anyway. I'm not going to be able to Fury plus Vi. So having... Cool, that's good. So having the other Starlet Seer in play helps out. War Mason, reporting for duty. Love it. That was perfect for me. That was not perfect. Never mind, not perfect anymore. Blessed by snow and stars. Dread lightning strike hard. Hmm. This would be a good winter. Poros of the North. An auspicious season. We're going to have something that's going to be huge. All right, so the next thing is going to have plus three, six, eight, nine. Going to have plus nine, plus nine. Uh, but we may be dead. Dang, that was good. That was really good for them. That was a really good turn. Now don't don't hope that they have decimate. Don't say decimate, because then it gives them decimate. You have to be like, oh, they have nothing they're gonna lose. Don't predict they have decimate. They left me alone. Whenever, whenever you predict them to have cards, they always have them. You just, you just give them to you. Give them to them. Yeah, great, great hand. That turn four was incredible. At the, is that turn four? No, that had to have been turn five. That was turn five. Yeah. Hey, we got a Poro to start with. 
the Lonely Poro. Now, if I play Lonely Poro on turn one, you know, then, you know, we can just play our stuff. But if I don't, if I just don't play Lonely Poro, I can just save one spell mana, have turn two Starlet Seer, then turn three, I would have four spell mana, so I would be able to Fury of the North on turn three. Um, I don't know if Fury of the North on turn three is going to be something we would need. against Twisted Fizz. I'm gonna save it. The other good thing about saving, of course, is we may draw Professor Von Yip. And Professor Von Yip is always good to play first before these things. Now we're just gonna be playing the Poro snacks. Quickly. Is a sea all. Blessed by snow and stars. Does not ruffle our feathers. Uh, <clears throat> they may just go make it rain, but oh well. An auspicious season. It's okay, Randy. It's all good. More Poro snacks. stole my top card, which is probably something that Starless here pumped up. That's not cool. Okay, so it was a spell. So they took a spell. We do know that. I go clean some of this up. This would be a good winter. Uh, so they took my shared spoils. I mean, they could technically be playing shared spoils, but I doubt it. I know we should we should have all the poros. Okay, I think they took all right, so I think I think the black market merchant took a unit. Gosh, it's a big black market merchant. Starless here is pretty awesome. A 
plan is to challenge the Starlet Seer with Vi. But I also think I want to get Vi to be 10 power first. Not sure if I want to have Vi 10 power first or just hold up Fury of the North. Scared? I don't blame you. Okay, so yeah, the shared spoils was ours because you saw that the card back was different whenever they played it. That's that's good to know. So that was our shared spoils. We play in build rules, son. Because, yeah, basically I can't... I don't have, like, one more mana to play, like, one more of these to make this 10 and still have here of the North available. This would be a good winter. <sighs> Should I cast Fury? Challenge the black market merchant? No. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. All right, love it. Got a heart of the fluffed. That's good. <laughs> no, yeah, I would have to cast Fury on the Vi to keep it alive through a black market merchant. Need to go wider. Yeah, I mean, Starlet Seer is much, much better than Pool Shark. Yeah, so we're coming that because, yeah, like, Starlet Seer pumps up these things a whole bunch, especially if they, you know, they are about to, like, draw a bunch of cards and, uh, like, you know, they're going to draw four cards at the beginning of the next turn if they have, like, pilfered goods and things like that. That is the second Daring Poro out of our deck, which is good news. Oh, they're about to draw five cards this next turn. They're going to have, because this is going to get a fleeting card also. They're going to get four fleeting cards. So the good news about them getting four fleeting cards is that does incentivize them to, like, spend all their mana and play all those things. And after they spend all their mana... Then I can play like a Heart of the Fluffed and maybe try to one shot them with Heart of the Fluffed. Tomorrow, yeah. Patch notes are tomorrow, and then... Oh my gosh, they just pass? Alright, well, I will just pass also. Then, sure, you just waste all those fleeting cards. What do you think? Are we going to just play stuff into those? Come on. Thank you, my attack step again. Um... I guess we don't really need to. Mm, maybe I'll do this. The five five can kill one thing. And I guess, I mean, I guess they could block, like, 5-5 five, five, kill that, 3-4 kill this. <clears throat> Those would be my Poros, though. Alright, so maybe I shouldn't attack out like this.
Yeah, I think they definitely thought that I was going to be playing something else. And then they would, they would react, but... When you have all those fleeting cards, you can't take that chance. You can't just have four fleeting cards in hand and then and pass priority. And yeah, even if they do kill some Poros, we can yeah we can call more. <laughs> we can get some more Poros. Yeah, they I think they just gave up. After passing, I'm getting punished for passing, I just gave up. Yes, single combat and whirling death. Yes, those things do uh, activate Vi. Because as long as she's in combat, you know, like as, if if Vi is attacking in combat, then yeah, they they will. Well, they they will. Yeah, you can strike for ten with those. Yeah, they count as striking basically. Yes. So yeah, judgment too. Yeah, she's got to survive. So yeah, single combat, got to survive. We'll keep the Lonely Poro and Mulligan the rest. I kind of want to keep Aurora Porealis. No, let's just Mulligan these top end cards. I mean, all of them are fine, but we only, you know, we don't need all of them right now. You're gonna get the. Lo oh come on! You're not gonna use. There you go. You're not gonna use a removal spell on a lonely Poro. That'd be so cruel. Good, they didn't. Oh, I like it. Poro snacks. There were just some kids ran by, and they were playing and stuff. I don't know, yelling or whatever. Dogs are the great protectors of the house. Red card. Red card. What are we trying to do? Kill Poros? Come on. Who says I don't um. So I think my plan next turn is Mystic Shot the Jaw Hunters and have the two and play the two daring Poros. I think that's my plan, because I have to Mystic Shot the Jaw Hunters so they don't challenge and kill my Professor Vanya. Um, Go and harvest them. Lady Luck is smiling. This could be silly killing Jaw Hunters and not killing Twisted Fate. It could be silly, but. There are going to be some very big daring Poros. 4-4 four, four elusives. Uh, needed new deck. Any recommendations? Man. One mana Starless here. That's a 3-4. Uh. So sad. We're trying to just do our cool Poro stuff and they just take all of our cards. Take all of our cool Poros. We fight for one friend. 
So Hearthguard again pumps up more things for them to steal, but I think it's a I think it's good to play a five five pre combat and then attack with a five five also. Yeah, they didn't play any zero mana poros last turn, so they probably took some spells or just you know more expensive things. I've been drawing a lot of spells. Looks like they're shuffling something back that they took from me. That would have been something they took from me, like right there. And I suppose we should kill that before it levels up. Cool, we'll take a Sejuani. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We don't have anything else to do with the Professor Von Yip. The pref Professor did its job making these daring Poros 4-4 four, four elusives. No! <laughs> Zero mana 4-4? Four, four? Uh. Yeah, that's true too. Glad, yeah, glad, no, glad they didn't take an Elixir of Iron. Uh, yeah, so basically, Rex, we're going to have tomorrow, just tomorrow, I'm sorry, I've taken a long time to answer your question. Uh, tomorrow is going to be patch 1-4, where they did announce that they are going to be um, changing 20-plus uh, cards. So it's kind of hard for me to recommend a deck right now, honestly, because tomorrow with that patch. So, uh, you know, basically be looking at the patch tomorrow and... We'll kind of see what what happens. Carved from the savage cold. Wish we had five men and I could play both of these. about calling it Fury of the Poros. <laughs> I ended up going with Poros of the North, but those are both good. Um, both good names. That's a Fury of the Poro right there. Fury of the Poro. The patch notes are going up tomorrow, and then they'll be implemented on Wednesday. So tomorrow at, I think at like 8 a.m. Pacific? Basically 24 hours from now, we'll know it, but probably about 22 or 23 hours from now is probably when we'll know what the patch notes are. Ezreal Swain. <clears throat> okay, Ezreal Swain's trying to do a lot of damage. I'm going to keep the Avaros and Hearthguard against Ezreal Swain, and same with Poro Snacks. Pump up all that stuff. Yeah, buff, yes. Using Fury of the North on the Avros and Hearthguard and then and then challenge could have been one more damage, but we didn't need we didn't need that one more damage. And um 
And I was worried... Uh, what I, I was worried that if we would do that, then... Oh, I got punished for waiting. I got punished for waiting. I was worried that if I did that, then... Uh, I don't know, like, they, they somehow, like, kill their 3-1. Their and... Yeah, I was basically worried about that. I was worried about them killing the, their own 3-1 somehow, and then I wouldn't be able to challenge it. It's, you know, something like that happening. I don't, I don't know exactly what, I don't know exactly how, but I thought it was just safer to do that, because I didn't think they would have anything that would kill those things, so I thought it was safer. Follow along, little ones. Just to do that. I... Yeah, so basically the reason why I didn't do that, why I didn't attack, and then, like, well, we didn't have the attack token last turn, <clears throat> but, um, I would have if we had the attack token. I would have done that. Alright, go in Hearthguard. We want to just keep pumping our things up. Many tribes under one banner. Next turn, I could go Yip and two of these. Well, I don't want to attack with my two ones into a four three. Especially when I have this heart of the fifth. This Heart of the Fluffed, I think, will kill them. I think. Um. Hmm. I guess if I do play Professor Von Yip, they just kill it immediately before I get to play any Poro. Yeah, I don't don't think the Yip's gonna survive. That'd be nice if it did. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that, like, maybe we could protect Yip with Fury. Alright, I mean, we're getting, like, all these Poros are basically free, right? We're trading a whole bunch of... Like, they're... We're trading a bunch of free cards for a whole bunch of good removal. Scout. And Quick Attack. Kind of cool. Like if they play Swain, Don't blink. play Ezreal. They didn't just kill the the daring Poro, so they're acting like they don't have three damage removal right now. So I'm gonna try playing the Yip. Oh come on! <laughs> they had three damage removal. Uh, it didn't work. Darn.
All right, so how big is this Heart of the Fluffed going to be? It's going to be huge. We got quick attack. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, Heart of the Fluffed with Scout. Dawn Speaker Barrels. Call it Dawn Powder. All right, Sky with the donation deck. Let's see, two, four, six, nine. Nine plus five is 14, plus a Poro snack, 15. So this will be a 15, 15, which will not kill them. They're at 17. So we're gonna go with another one, make this 17. To replace a unit. Oh, and it's stunned? No, it keeps the stun. I am stunned. All right, so so I just had Dawn Speaker barrels. written down. They passed back to me. So I can just go straight to attacks. That sounds cool. I don't know if I get, get punished for playing anything, though. All right, the old 1713 elusive scout quick attack. <laughs> Left to the poros. Going undercover. Well, I guess I have to attack right now and not play Vi because I can't I can't risk them stunning the back row enemy.
crew. Fury of the North wouldn't wouldn't heal it. It would still be damaged. Fury of the North wouldn't wouldn't save it from Noxian Guillotine. That's not how Fury of the North works. Like that's that's not how like the damage thing works. Like it'd still be damaged. Alright, so I was greedy playing the shared spoils though. If I if I didn't if I played Porealis instead of the shared spoils, I could have just used a Poro Snack right here instead of using the second Fury of the North. Not quite lethal, but Ezra will be out of here. I guess my opponent is going to kill me. I guess I was, I was focused on Ezreal leaving, but I guess if I would have played the affectionate one, I could have probably had lethal a little easier. But it didn't matter what I did. They they drew the burn spells to kill me. Hmm. So obviously my, my big mistake there was the, the turn that I played the Heart of the Fluffed and it was stunned. I just didn't didn't really realize it was gonna do that. How I you know, it, it ate a stunned um I mean it makes sense that it does it, you know, it's just it's just something that I hadn't really ever seen before and didn't really consider, but I mean it makes sense that that's how the card works. But that was that was the turn that I lost the game. You know, that was that was definitely the, the turn I like took off to do that. Um yeah. Instead, like, if, instead of doing that, if I would have just played, like, Vi and had Vi challenge Ezreal and get the Ezreal off the battlefield, I, th you know, I think that we easily win that game. That was, that was the difference, um, was that turn. I needed to, basically, I just needed to play Vi a lot earlier and kill the, kill the Ezreal, but I had too much cool Poro stuff to do. And so I was doing all my cool Poro stuff because I had too much cool Poro stuff to do and should have, should have killed, um... Should have killed Ezreal. Um, yeah, it just needs a, yeah, it just means I need to be playing more more Poro, so I would have known about that stun. Um, but yeah, three wins, not bad. Could have could have been four. I I could have won that last game. We had the cards too. Um, I was yeah, I was pretty impressed with this deck. It had a lot of a lot of card advantage, which was good. Um, a lot of ways to pump up our Poros also and make them real threats, which was also good. And then having two awesome champions like Vi and Sejuani mean meant that, that we weren't like that low on power level compared to like normally whenever you're playing Poro decks, you're just like a lower power level than what other people are doing. But Vi and Sejuani are two um, really great uh, champions, so um, they weren't too bad. What what are you girls doing? Like they just <laughs> they're just super excited. All right, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's Poros of the North. Pretty sweet deck there. 
All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave uh, some comments as well if you like Poros as much as my puppies do. They really like Poros, as you can tell. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.